Hey there, Dick, uh, Colleen, and Joe. So I, I already had this time carved out on the calendar, so I just wanted to uh, explore Eventbrite, uh, and I thought maybe I'd just record my exploration so that um, uh, you guys can check it out if you want to, and then we can always set up another meeting sometime if we wanted to look at it together in more detail. Um, so anyway, I went ahead and logged in to my Eventbrite account, so you'll need to create one if you don't have one. Um, and then we just create an event. And looks like event info. I'm so I'm just gonna do a test one. <clears throat> so put it in our conference room. Let's say the date will be May fifth at one PM. 4 p.m. May 5th so you can put in a picture I might throw in some um, might throw in you know like a picture of the SBCTC um, or CTC link uh, logo or whatever so description event Or you know, in the, for the trainings, we could put Laura Ratcliffe, um, put her information. Oh, it looks like we can include links to Facebook and Twitter. Not that we need to do that for this. Um, it'll be a free ticket. Um, ticket name. So here, probably put in. Oh, so general. So I'll just put GA. Um, and then here we can put in how many people, <clears throat> which is kind of nice, so we can uh, kind of restrict it to uh, the number of attendees that said they were going to come. And then that might give us. And then if they're all taken, we might get um, some additional information, like people that might want to attend that didn't put their name on the list originally, that kind of stuff. Um, so we can that might help coordinate some of that information. I'm just going to put five tickets there for right now. Additional settings. Um, so we could make, I would probably do these as private pages, um, and, uh, yeah, so the, and I would probably choose this option. The event is by invite only, guests must receive an, an, an Eventbrite invitation. Um, that might be good, because then I can send the invitations out through Eventbrite, um, and then they would get access to, uh, to re reserve a ticket or grab a ticket, register. Let's see, number of tickets. Oh, that'd be good, show the number of tickets remaining. That'd be nice. Um, make my event live. Let's see what that looks like. So then it comes to the screen where I can actually send invitations, collect customized attendee information. Um, I'm gonna close that for now. Here's the cancel. So here's the link to the event. Um, so I can send my in, in, uh, invitations out to folks. Here I can see the progress on uh, how many tickets have been distributed. Let's see, invitations tells me how many I've sent. Um, view sales that'll probably give me my attendee list yep so then I'll be able to get a list of attendees here which would be nice it'd be not so what I then one of the reasons I wanted to use this is so that I could um, give Laura a list of attendees so she would have that information um, <clears throat> and one of the things too is I might actually on getting information from attendees I might actually ask them to type in their TCC email as that might be easy to like copy and paste into the badging system um, you know send that list to Laura so that as when she finishes um, the training she can just copy and paste those into the badge distribution um, set uh, section of the that the state board is going to set up for us so anyway um, it looks pretty good actually um, analyze I'm not sure um, I think I would probably 
maybe send these out, the links out through Bitly or something. I've been using Bitly a lot to kind of track, um, you know, how many people are clicking on links that I send out, that kind of information. So um, anyway, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, and I don't see anywhere where um, there's a limit on how many, um, let me just delete this one, uh, how many um, tickets or, res or, uh, uh, res or registrations or events that you can set up. I don't think there's a limit. Uh, it just says if it's a free event, it's free to create. So, so yeah. So we've got you know a hundred or so, a um, hundred and so um, uh, training classes. So it'll take some time to kind of set this stuff up. Um, but the form was pretty straightforward. So I I, I think it's going to be uh, doable for 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 my purposes anyway. And I'll I might crowdsource this a little bit. Maybe get some help. Um, from some folks on campus uh, with this process. So, anyway, um, that's that's it. If you wanna, if you do wanna schedule a time to kind of do this again, Dick, uh, go ahead and, uh, and create a doodle poll, and, and I'd be happy to to participate. All right, I guess I'll chat with you guys later.